What is going on, everybody, and welcome back once again. My name is Jordan, also known as J Monster, and you guys are watching episode 30 of our Vortex campaign. We are getting down to the wire here, more than ha almost halfway through, rather, our third out of five rituals. We've really only got a couple chaos armies here left to clean up. We've got uh, this final, final group here from the Warband of the Eagle. I assume that they are a Chaos Horde dedicated to Zeech. And of course there are the Ashes of the previous Chaos Army under Olaf Hilmarsen who attacked our capital of Great Turtle Isle. Now, I'm pretty sure we're going to get attacked again, which means we're going to lose another wave of our um, income for a turn. Not great, but mm, not a whole lot to be done there either. So let's see, Toby's team, they are regenerating. Malmir is going to be doing the same now. Yeah. Neither of them are really able to move from where they are for the time being. So let's go ahead and let's pass the turn. I'm going to wait 30 minutes for Lothern to finally do their thing. But yeah, it's been it's been a pretty crazy campaign so far, but I'm really excited to finish it so that we can finish so that we can get on with Tomb Kings and also begin our much awaited, I'm sure, um, Mortal Empires campaign. Alright. Great Turtle Isle will be sieged again. Uh, Sentinels of Zeti. I think they'll be able to hold out against a mostly Marauders force. They are the regional capital. They've got a lot of, of troops there, so I'm not worried. So we're going to take our time here with Malmir. We're not going to worry about putting him into, uh, into marching stance or anything like that. It's not important. Over here, Greater Lyle. Olaf Hilmerson. Yeah, you're gonna die. Sorry, buddy. Get out of here. Now we'll actually make some money this turn for once. Fifteen turns remaining on the last defenders. That's concerning. So let's go ahead. Pop down one of those. Hopefully we can send something up there to the Isle of Skulls. I don't think they've got a ton of resources left. Uh, so what do we got here? I think that's us. I think that this is our intervention for us. Yes, indeed. Uh, if they attack Sor Tor Serpindar, they're not going to accomplish anything. But hopefully Lothern can get their act together and uh, at least take one of those cities so that they will fail the ritual. Itza. How's it going, Itza? What do you need? Mm, not really much there. Uh, Skeggy. Definitely gonna upgrade Skeggy. And that's basically most of our money. Now we've got 7k left. Let's do something with it. Mm, not important. Very important, however. Hexawaddle needs to be built back up. I'm pretty sure we burnt it to the ground as I promised I would. <laughs> Foolish. I regretted it almost immediately. Uh, let's do that. So 10% from that uh, third level port there. That'll be real nice. Uh, and let's take... Yeah. We're going to have to colonize here with Toby's team. I don't necessarily want to, but I don't think we have a choice. Somebody's got to do it. It looks like Toby's going to have to sit on the bench for a little while. Um, but again, not a whole lot to be done. So we'll leave it for one more turn. Come on, Lothern. Always taking forever. Hmm. Once. Oh. Plans are of no concern to me. I know I don't care. I can't afford to piss off Tyrion, so you can just stay on your other continent and die. Again, I guess. But uh, I think once the last defenders, like if we let them do the ritual, and they fail it, then they never get to try again, which effectively destroys all opposition that we have to our own ritual. So I don't know. I'm not too worried about it. Let's go out and resolve this. Yeah, that's not even worth fighting. Let's pop you down into the city. Get you a little bit of extra replenishment for that turn. You are 20 out of 20. Good, good. Your instructions. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Toby's team, but we have to cripple you for just a little while. Uh, now, let's see here. They are missing a Phoenix Guard, so let's give them that. Uh, 
build that back up it's a level one inconvenient but not that big a deal Valdir son of Valdir hmm let's continue to build up your blue tree tis important although I guess not that important 20% ward save who do I want to give that to one of our named characters well, let's see Toby's got that hmm Dar the Bold, looking uh, much changed from our previous episodes. Looking good, buddy. Myra on the battle scar now. Not too worried about you. Word save for you. That's kind of nice. I feel like you should get that. Legion of the Beard should definitely, yeah. One of our named characters should definitely get that over one of our newer generals. Uh, Teclis, looking strange. Looking real strange. Malmir's got an opal amulet, but that's an on demand ward save. Hmm. I don't know. There's another 10% in here, isn't there? Can I give him that? Yes, I will. I feel like that's better than ward save some of the time. Alright. So that is it. That's the end of that chaos ritual. So I'm going to skip ahead a little bit here because it's mostly just going to be building stuff. Etc. Etc. So we're going to skip ahead to the uh, beginning of the next ritual, and I will see you guys in just a few moments. All right. Now here we are at the end of the ritual and the start of the cutscenes. Let's go ahead and let's pass the turn, and uh, yeah, enjoy the enjoy the movie. Displease me, and you will pay with your life. The Scholar King. His knowledge bequeathed to those who searched, including where the third shard lay, and how to slay the worm that haunted it. against us. There are others that perform their own rituals of dominance over the Vortex. Alrighty. Well, that's fun. Alright, and now we are well poised to begin our next ritual. So I don't see any reason to wait. Hold on a second here. Let's find... Are any of these actually worth it at this point? Not really. Court advisors, I guess that's kind of cool, but I haven't really been recruiting nobles. Um, melee attack for lords and embedded here. I guess that's kind of cool. 5% ward save for Phoenix Guard and melee defense. Yeah, that's a no-brainer right there. Um, Before we do that, let's try something crazy. I wonder now if they would go for here, this. I will hear your words. Yeah, they really like us. Strike Confederation, like this, of success is very low. Yeah, it's because they're stronger than we are. They are number one, and we are probably number two. Yeah, indeed we are. Sad face. All right, let's begin our next ritual. The ritual of the explorer. I think mostly everyone is where they need to be. Yes, no. Entering the garrison. Right, we'll pop Your will is done. Dar down oh. over here. All right. I'm pretty sure everyone is where they need to be at this point. Except for maybe you. Yeah. Set yourself down there. So let's go ahead and let's start it. What does it give us? Six of public order. Minus ten upkeep for all armies. That'll be real nice moving into the next one. We'll probably uh, create another army. So if you guys have any more uh, like names that you want to see for the generals or just ideas for units and that sort of thing leave those in the comments because they'll make it into the next army our final army by uh, by all likelihood so let's begin the ritual is underway my lord even working together it will take your greatest adept some time to complete such is the ritual's power that the great vortex itself distorts under its pull be wary, though, 
For while the Vortex is weakened, the forces of chaos will slip into this world. Ready your defenses, for they will doubtless be drawn to the ritual's power. Oh hell. That is a lot of chaos, but we are prepared. Toby's team, back up to scratch. Gotta move them in to reinforce Valdir, son of Valdir. And now it is time to come in from the north with Adar the Enforcer. And of course, Teclas the man himself. Let's see, what else we got over here? Hmm, I could move in with the Legion of the Beard, but I, I don't think they'll make it there in time. I don't think there's really any reason to do that. Another skill point there. Cool. Leveling up. Proud of you, girl. Uh, might as well. A little bit extra money. Never hurt nobody. How can I assist you? Well, let's see here. Hopefully they don't all swarm against Valdir, son of Valdir. Uh, he can't really go anywhere either. So I guess we'll have to leave him where he is. Let's see here. Any useful rights? Not really. All right. Let's let's pass the turn. Let's see what happens. Let's see what sort of bedlam that these chaos armies are going to bring to our empire. That's like, what, five, six of them right there? Four chaos armies or two Skaven. Presumably there will be more coming in from the sea as well, just to be a pain in my ass. Nothing you can say will dampen my hatred. Oh, I know I said it the last time, but damn, I like the, the what they did with the Asrai. They look like, they, like the, um, the Scottish... Way watcher in uh, in Vermintide. I love the those like completely black eyes. It just makes them look really inhuman. Uh, let's see here. Do I care about this? Not really. Um. Okay. I want the influence, so we'll do that. But we will also do that. Should counteract one another. Now I'm real tempted to move in there and try and save Chakwa, but. Eh, I got a feeling I'll regret that if I do it. Move your butt, Teclas. Let's go, boy. Move down with Dar as well. We'll just converge on these chaos dogs. With everything we got. And Chakwa, I guess it's just going to have to be on its own. Although... I think I made a mistake there by moving uh, Valdir, son of Valdir, out of his position instead of moving him down here. So let's move up with Nephi. Nephi should be able to arrive within a turn or two, because if we're not careful, they'll just they'll just dogpile right in here. And Guacmole, Guacmole Crater, all of these important cities like Shotel and, and things like that could uh, could fall pretty quickly. So let's let's not do that. Let's not give them an opportunity to cut out the heart of our empire. Hmm. I'm hoping that they stick around and fight. We might lose Quetza. Maybe Eshlotl. I don't know. Itza, perhaps. Oh, Chakwa. Oh, baby. You're in a very bad way. That is a lot of hell cannons, too. Um, we're going to have to do what we normally do, where we try and uh, take out some of their artillery pieces to save us some trouble later. So I will see you guys on the battlefield. Alrighty. This is going to be... Oh, this is going to be real ugly. Hopefully my micro will be a bit more up to scratch this time around. What with um, not letting my Lothar and Sea Guard get surrounded on the walls and things like that. And we'll be able to fall back to uh, to this little area right here and make our final stand. But the AI has come forward a lot with our artillery pieces. Much farther forward than they really needed to. Um, so I think we're going to have to do our best to get out there and butcher those hell cannons. If we can kill at, at least one of them, that is a victory in and of itself. So here we go. Come on, tower. Don't let me down. There we go. Have those towers focus in on those pieces. Right, have to be careful of that manticore over there. Don't want it to catch our, uh, our units on the open. Oh god. Just go. Oh, 
I hope those things, I hope those um, warhounds don't go for uh, my horses. They are going to. It's all right. Hopefully we'll be able to get a good side charge here on that hell cannon without them getting caught by those war dogs. I don't know if it's gonna happen though. I might be asking too much. All right, boys, time to fall back. You've done your job. You need to stay though. Flee, flee my friends. How are we doing here with the gate? Uh, it's not gonna take them too long. Uh, they are only just starting in, so we will have time to fall back. Come on, guys, get out of there. No, 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 you got caught. This is not what I wanted. Oh, God. Come on, just one charge. Just one. You have one job. Do it for me, Silver Helms. Ooh, that's ugly. Yeah, well, I'll take it. It is what it is. Let's maybe try and get the eagle out of there. We might be able to use it for later. I think we destroyed one of those. Good enough. Run, eagle. Nah. I'd be surprised that eagle gets out of there. Oh, it's going to make it. Hasn't been attacked for like five whole seconds. No! Oh, damn dogs. <laughs> okay, it's time to fall back. And set up our defenses. Keep these spirit men in reserve. Actually, no, we won't. Use these guys as a reserve force. You guys can set yourselves up accordingly. Uh, one of you can move up here. And the other one can go right here. There we are. Oh, Eagle, you make me sad. Make me real sad, Eagle. Oh, you guys are back. Circle around. Kill one of those hell cannons. Like that one, for example. Oh, yes. Oh, such a juicy opportunity. Don't let me down. Oh, wow. Oh, Ooh, that's real ugly. Get out of there, guys. See so if we can't kill their sorcerer. Oh, my God. Oh, painful. There's only so much to be done, however. White lions, where yet? Now is a good opportunity for those white lions. Let's get our horsemen back. Get you guys back as well. Come on, white lions. Cavalry, did you get in there? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, just five more. Oh, just five. Damn it. Still, a lot of damage to those hell cannons. But heavily reduced in strength. Nice. Now we have an opportunity to surround these guys. Let's get our archers out of there. They're all slogged in melee right now. Let's bring you around this side so it's not going to be quite so easy to shoot you. Oh, God. Oh, that artillery is just pinpoint accurate, isn't it? Let's kill those sorcerers. That's a pain right there. I'm telling you guys are thinking about retreating already. Cowards! Die for your king! Yeah, let's focus down that sorcerer lord right there. Oh, it's a shame I don't have my eagle. That's why I wanted to save it. Okay, one of those hell cannons. Most of their hell cannons actually really got worked over, which is nice. Tis what we needed. Yeah, kill that Chaos Lord. Die, maybe? That's fine. Move you guys slightly over this way. They've been dealt with. Yeah, we're actually doing a lot better this time around. Oh boy. Quickly now. Oh boy. Oh, the accuracy though. Insane. Insane. They can't even see us from that far. Without fail. As you say. All right, boys. Get yourself set up. This is it. This is for all the marbles right here. To the fray. 
heal some of those Chaos Knights as well. They're a big part of the killing power of these Chaos Armies. Aw, uh, no! Aw, uh, dead center on my lord. Come on! Shenanigans. Oh, God. Okay, that's fine. You guys can beat those, I think. Shoot those Chaos Warriors with Halberds. Those Chaos Trolls are running away. Shoot those Chaos Warriors with Halberds. All of you. Yeah, maybe we can kill those Chaos Halberds. That'd be real nice. Or at least kill some of them. Look at those beasts. Those beasts of men. We'll have them move in since they are actually decent enough spearmen. Get in there, boys. Hold your ground. Are they actually losing to demon dogs? That was real disappointing. Killing anybody? Oh, wow, they got a giant, too. Let's kill Lord Viago there if we can. Yeah, he needs to die. If we can kill him. Well, we did all right. We, we really weakened some pretty important stuff. Damn chaos dogs, just friggin' die! Nah, we don't have the firepower to kill them, it's not gonna happen. Let's kill those chaos trolls if we can. No, don't rout, there's so many of you! We can do so much damage! Oh, you cowards! Uh, like I said, do not like the way morale works in Warhammer 2. I think it's a little cheesy when like I've got 75% of my army left, and they all run for the hills in a last stand does not make for very epic gameplay oh well it happens we'll deal with it now we didn't really kill a lot of them but there aren't really a whole lot of them to begin with one of their chaos uh hell cannons gone completely and the others are reasonably weakened did not manage to kill more than one that would have been real nice if i had my eagle if my eagle would just like follow my orders that would have been okay underway interception what were they? that's a lot of Big boom. Big DACA. That's the one I wanted. <laughs> That's a lot of DACA. Um, they don't really have a rush army, but they don't really have the troops to withstand us anyway. So, I, I mean, yeah, we got to fight it. Let's do it. This will help us knock out one of the Chaos armies, because I, I don't think we're going to lose this. I would be surprised. I would be mortified. That would be a huge loss for us. Um... But I don't think we're going to lose it. Toby's got a pretty decent army there. We'll just have to basically rush for them. And, uh, yeah, try not to get uh, bogged down. Destroy their artillery. Deal with their front line. Our Phoenix Guard are more than capable. They're excellent tar pits. And backed up with some of our heavier hitters, like the Swordmasters of Hoth. We'll be fine. I'm pretty sure. That's what I'm going to tell myself. Uh, all right, so we'll have infantry block up like so. Y'all can be part of the second line as well. Lothern Sea Guard on the flanks, as is tradition. And uh, you guys, honestly, well, I'll find something to do with you. We'll put you out right up here for now. Maybe out in front. Uh, and you're on a dragon now, aren't you? Oh, yeah, you are. Looking real fine there, Toby. Uh, let's see. Perfect. Cav can do its own thing. All right. Let's boogie. They're out there. They're out there somewhere. And we're going to find them. This is the, probably the perfect place for our artillery to be. And that's probably the perfect place for our infantry to be. Put them right there. Now have everyone surge forward. Does Toby have... Oh, yes, he does. You can use Toby as, like, this stealthy, deep strike demon, essentially. Because he's got that stock ability, which is just real good. Yeah, they won't even see him until he's right on top of them, which is really, really cool. Um, but I think... 
Our artillery needs to go to there. And our infantry needs to come out to here. Yeah, you guys can go there. Pop you guys into the woods. Everyone else is hidden. They got their their eyes focused on our dragons right now. I don't think they can hit us. Nah, if they could hit us, we could see them. Storm vermin. Sword and shield. Not afraid of them. Not really. They look neat, though. Maybe one of these days they'll actually play with the Skaven. Probably not. Let's fast forward. There we go. Perfect. Oh my good oh my giddy aunt. How can they see me? Okay, no, they can't see us, we're fine. Come on, artillery. Alright, Toby and team, it's time to go into action. Let's slow it down. Oh, our poor Phoenix Guard. That was a real unfortunate. If only I had something to heal them with. I need more mages, probably. Oh, they got it right out in front. They're just asking for it, aren't they? And they've got halberds nearby to support it. Oh. You clever AI bastards. Oof. Oof. Well, that didn't so go so poorly. Come on, guys. Get in there. Come on, Toby. Don't let me down, boy. Yeah, we need to rush. Oh, we're just getting slaughtered. All right, let's just go for it. They're silver helms. Who cares about them? Not me. Can't quite hit them, I don't think. I'll have you drop some fire breath on them. I get down and dirty with those gutter runners. You too, Toby. Get in there, my guy. Oh, this is ugly. Advance. Second line. Also advance. Oh, it's just so ugly. There we go. Focus fire down their range contingents. Go, boys. Get in there. You're fine. You guys probably gonna need some help on the flanks there. Let's pull those silver helms out. Focus down those plague monks. Yeah, you guys did your job. Get out of there. Understood. Flee, you fools. Oof. This is really quite ugly. Let's pull our dragons out. Get their breath going again. It's a lot of killing power right there that we're not taking advantage of. Ooh, who told you guys to go up there? Oh, I don't remember doing that. That's all right. For order, setting forth. There we go. Should be okay. Come on, Toby. Drop a big steaming pile on these guys. Where's my other dragon? Need you out of there. Oh, that dragon, if it does not move, it is going to die. Yeah, help is needed over there. Archers. It will be done. Let's see. How you guys doing? Asa, you guys are not doing much right now. Push! A pace, as you say. Uh, let's see. Without you guys aren't doing anything. Bring it in from the rear. Let's move up with some of our archers. Start putting some fire into those uh, slinger companies and things like that in the back. Kill them gutter runners. Do it! Yeah, you guys should shoot something else. Like them, for example. Uh, I'm not sure I have much, a lot of use for you right now. Oh, that artillery spam. It is very, very painful. Oh, I mean, we're in... We're running over the artillery. How is it still shooting? Shenanigans! Alright, you're out of there. Finally. Bring you over this way. Yeah, get those clan rats. Understood. Orders received. For the king. 
Moving out. Converge on those clan rats. Rear charge should send them running. Get down there. Kill them. Toby. Kill that thing as well. There we go. That is a, a very costly victory for us. Oh my dear lord. We did our best, but I think we need some magic in some of these armies. That's a, a big hindrance. for our, A hindrance for our enemy and a boon for us. We're just not really taking advantage of. Still, that's quite the enjoyable punch up. Yeah, you got some more XP. Yeah, boys. Bloody rats. Ugh, just so savage for us. A third of our force. A lot of that is the artillery, though. I mean, if we look over here, the artillery is the only thing that really got any kills. 122 on that catapult. Oh, it burns. Yeah, we definitely have to replenish on that one. Um, that will save some of our units and possibly that army, which I think needs to uh, fall back now and be reconstituted. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's still in pretty good shape. Yeah, surprisingly. Valdir, son of Valdir. Let's move you up. Right there. And let's see, what are you missing? You're missing Phoenix Guard. You're definitely missing Phoenix Guard, so let's, we can't do anything about that right now. Well, what can we do? Hmm. Hmm. Not a lot. Um. Let's get a Tyranoc Chariot. Why not? I don't have any Chariots right now, and I want him to have full strength when we take on Chaos. Um. Oh, poor Chakwa. Yeah, they are really just trying to flood into here, which is kind of what I was hoping they wouldn't do. But, oh well. Nephi, it's time to move, boy. You're up. Alter the Horned Rat. What can I do here? Let's do that. Uh, and you... Actually... I think not. You can move to fight these guys. I want you to do that. Defender of the Ever Queen. Not necessary, I don't think. Garrison it. Uh, yes, let's go over this way. I refuse. Hmm. I can't use this for another nine turns? Really? I thought it was closer than that. Oh well. Really need to get rid of these spearmen, though. That's going to be a problem. Well. Toby's team. Could you beat them? What do they got? A lot of knights. What does Toby's team ha not have? Cavalry, for the most part. Yeah, all those knights though. Mm, anti infantry. Yeah, no. We're gonna we're gonna try and avoid that. We don't really have the comp there with that particular army. So let's go ahead and let's pass turn. I I bet you Quetza is up next. They declare war on Morsleeb's howlers. I guess I have no choice. Tyrion embroiling me in yet more conflicts. For no reason. Conflicts that Tyrion can't win and I'm not in a position to help him win. Ugh AI. Sometimes you impress me, sometimes you do just genuinely stupid shit. What do we got here? Two armies versus their one. Let's see. Cavalry was my big concern. Cavalry is what we have with Valdir, son of Valdir. Oh, I'm gonna give that to you. Definitely. 94 from 82 that's a big jump okay well let's go ahead and let's fight this on the battlefield I can't deprive you guys of an epic showdown between a high tier chaos army and two of our elven war warlords I won't I refuse to do it Kuhar Vorpal Shard he's got no idea what's coming for him or maybe he does I don't know the AI probably knows everything that I'm bringing but that's not the point All right. Infantry block goes there. You guys can follow them up with defenses in the front and defenses in the rear. Cool. 
Oh, I suppose you should go in there too. There we go. Uh, cavalry, you need to stay with the rest of the army. And you guys just try not to die. Try not to embarrass yourselves. Go there. This is probably where we're gonna have time for it. And you guys, oh bloody hell! There we go. Get up here. Oops. Dragon princes, go down here for now. Looks like they're gonna try. Oh my goodness! Oh, they're on the other side. Oh my god! Everyone, just go! Understood. Eagle claw. Shoot those things. Oh no, you idiot. Get back. Blunt that charge. Oh god! Move. Phoenix Guard! Forward! Oh my, oh my goodness. This is just not great. This is awful. I can't believe it would do this. They're side by side. Why would they come in? Ugh. Ugh, this game. You, over here. Shut down those knights. Oh, there's so many knights. Oh, just so many knights. I don't understand how... I don't know. Warhammer 2 is... It's kind of a, a buggy nightmare sometimes. Oh, Christ. We're going to lose that army because of this stupidity. <laughs> You guys go up that way. Yeah, this is not how I like to lose battles because of randomness in the deployment zones. That's just frustrating. Yeah. Alright, boys. What the hell? Who told you to go up here? Yeah, get in there, guys. That thing needs to die. Come on, Dragon Princess. Coming from the rear. Save us. Oh, what a nightmare. What are you guys doing? Not great. Not great, I can tell. Kill that giant. He's a big, ugly target. Yeah, get in there. Yeah, this is a lot of casualties just because of where they put us. Oh, it's so irritating. Come on, guys. Big rear charge. You got support coming in. Just commit. How are we doing over on this side? Not so great. My, now my formation's all screwed up, too. Why is that? I don't know. How is that chaos cannon still firing? All good questions. Kill those chosen with their great weapons. How are we doing over here? Not amazing. Uh, you guys get back there and deal with that chariot. You two fall back over here. Okay, we managed to scatter some of the chaos forces. What we got here? Chaos Knights with lances. Doing real well, actually. Against that dragon. Kind of surprising. Oh, boy. Four sword masters. Somehow losing. I think I might have shot them to death. Oops. Our Phoenix Guard are routing, too? Oh, come on. We're in combat against the... Why does it not silence it? That's very weird. Oh, let's try and throw something else in there. Wow, we're actually losing to these chaos guys. I cannot believe it. What we got here? Frontline push forward. You come around. How are you losing to chaos knights? Not even anti-infantry. That's disappointing. Shoot those guys. Is that Chaos Giant dead yet? I will assume so. Kill those Chaos Trolls. 
Are we doing over on this side? Not amazing. Alright. So we've managed to break through here. Wow, we lost almost the entire infantry force. Fighting three units of Chaos Warriors because we can't have any control over our deployment zones. Ugh. How are we doing here? Okay, we've managed to defeat... One army should not have been able to do this to us, though. That is... That is beyond ridiculous, and that is a game issue, not... Not an us issue. How are they... What's, what's still alive? Are they not all routing at this point? Am I missing something? I must be. What's this? Oh, it's the Hell Cannon crew. I see. Everyone, convert to the Hell Cannon crew. Let's kill them. Bam. What a nightmare. What an ugly mess. That did not have to be. Well, we survived. We lost way too much, but we survived. Man, that irritates me. I, we should, it should work the way that other Total Wars do, where units will come in relative to one another on the campaign map, not wherever CA's engine decides they want to put them in at any given moment. It's throwing randomness like that into the middle of a strategy game. Definitely not, not my first choice. Shit. Now, Nephi, Nephi's really got his uh, his work cut out for him. Let's go this way. I serve the king. Let's move in there. Let's finish them off. Some more replenishment. Valdir, son of Valdir, is going to be laid up for a while, I think. Hmm. Inspiring presence. It's probably important. A defender of truth. Mmm, lightning strike. That's not important. No, no, no. I take that back. Elven Scholar, also not that big a deal. Hmm. Let's give you... Where is it? Master Strategist. Yes, that's the one I want. Let's see. Teclas, what are we going to do with you? Uh, I think what we should do is upgrade your army. We have the funds. We might as well. Cool. So that's only three turns you got to wait. Not bad. Schlanhopek. Let's upgrade you. Uh, Itza is going to come under siege pretty soon here. Probably in the next turn, and I don't know if we'll have anyone in there to stop them. Uh, Toby's team. Yeah, you're going to have to hustle. Move it along. Well, let's see. We're not able to uh, make our Ithilmar chariot. Not a whole lot else we can do there. Let's maybe grab one of these guys while we're here. I'll try and defend Itza. Hopefully they don't attack it en masse, but it looks like they might split up a bit here. Maybe go for some of our smaller towns, which is what we need them to do. Alright. Come on, Lothern. We got stuff to do. Displease me, and you will pay with your life. Hmm. No. Even though you're offering me $4,000, that's quite the sum, but I'm not pissing off Tyrion.
War declared, lizard man intervention, order of the lore masters. Oh, good lord. We got here. None shall live. A lot of skirmishers, and we have a lot of things that are resistant to missiles. Cool. Let's, uh, let's fight it. Let's do it. Hmm. Yeah, that's not a, that's not a very scary army. That's like 90% skirmish. It's going to be annoying. Because we're going to have to run them down. We don't really have any cavalry. But they have no artillery. No cavalry of their own. Maybe their old blood. Yeah, we're gonna make mincemeat of these guys. Nice simple line formation here. Nothing too fancy about it. Doesn't really need to be fancy. Let's go. Let's focus down the skink cohort. them forward? No, I can't. Oops. Well, that's my bad. Well, let's get this done. It will be done. Serve the king. For a defending order. Attack! Hmm. Yeah, some focus fire here should be enough to uh, to quickly deal with most of the skinks. You guys can do your thing. Eagle, we'll find something for you to do. Mm, let's focus on him. Shoot those skirmishers to death. They're the big threat here. The big annoyance, I guess, is... Oh, wow. Just that focus fire. Oh, it hurts. It burns precious. Come on, Eagle. Go faster. See what we got here. They should be losing a little bit harder those white lions, I would think. Who told you to do that? Let's see. Let's take them down. Oh wow! There's just so many that we can't catch them. Yeah, this is what I mean by annoying. There's just, they're so much faster than we are. So it's not really an option to catch them. The <clears throat> what we got here? Mm, got some terror routing. That's surprising. Just die already, you bastard. Ooh. Well, that's, that is looking real painful for them. Hmm. Well, let's regroup. Come on, kill those skinks already. Nope. Kill those Sora spears. Ah, oh, stop it. Yeah, let's kill that old blood. There we go. Nice and shattered. Beautiful. Yeah. Use the the forest as cover. Bring them back here. And that's it for the uh, for the skink horde. Let's go ahead and let's end that. Hmm. Yeah. Not too many. Not too many losses there, but it adds up. Plus, they'll be back. 
which <laughs> they're going to take at least two turns of money away the from us. Good has yeah, that's, that's a feature I hope that we see maybe in Thrones of Britannia, which we will be doing as a campaign, um, is the ability to chase with garrisons. If they're in, like, very close to your to your vicinity, you should be able to maybe sally out and deal with them. Um, definitely would be a nice quality of life change, so this doesn't happen. All right. Let's make Tyrion like us a bit more. How can I assist you? We got here Malmir. Uh, bonded service, merchant lord, wary. Wary is a good one to have. Lord of the Phoenix Court. Entering All right. the garrison. Quit axe is garrisoned. Itza is about to come under siege, which is no bueno. Can I get there? How many turns would it take me to go around? Take me about the same amount of time. We mm, this is a little bit shorter, so I'll have to do it that way. Uh, cheeky bull. Nothing I can do for you right now, cheeky bull, as per usual. Uh, Dar. Dar's not going to get here in time. This whole thing will basically be decided by the time the Dar gets down there, but oh well. Valdir, let's move you a little ways forward. There we have it. And Teclis is going to be out of commission for another couple turns. Alright, let's see how this goes. Hopefully Itza doesn't get attacked immediately because the garrison will not hold. We will lose Itza. Absolutely. There's no way. Unless, like, those two Chaos armies turn on each other, which I doubt. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. We know. And take more of my damn money. Maybe pay a full turn's upkeep. That's... That's also kind of like, why? <laughs> why is this one city the, like, absolute center of my entire economy? Why do I lose my entire economy just because one settlement comes under siege? It's a bit silly. A bit silly indeed. Oh, well, there we go. Got the garrison here at Quitax. Also going to get some reinforcements in the form of Dar. And that one we're just going to auto resolve. 8% speed. That's real nice. Here you go. I have that. There we go. Let's see. Toby's team. Well and the skill point for you. Let's see. Mass strategist. It's a no brainer. Dar also has master strategist already. Hmm. What else does he need? Speed. Perhaps, yeah. Let's do that. A defender of truth. More speed. Also nice. Yeah, Aegil is very fast Prince indeed. Of Valdir said of Valdir, basically ready to start moving out on his own. Master of the White Tower. There we go. Reinforcements are on the way. Oof. That is not great. That is, that is really not great. But it has to happen. I like the way. Get in there, Nephi. All right, now if they attack that city, they're gonna have to deal with Nephi and his crew. Protector of all forms. Hmm, could be overwhelmed. Nephi does not have the the best army at the moment. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Hmm. Your command. Hmm. They just fled. Good. That's what we want. I go. Dar's gonna give chase. Oh no, that's Toby's team. They're gonna give chase. If they move to regroup against Itza, maybe we'll have a chance to surround them and bring in some reinforcements. I'd be fine with like a two army plus garrison battle against three chaos armies. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be real neat, in fact. Y'all want to fight? 
Do I actually want to fight that? No, that's a lot of artillery. <coughs> ah, whatever. We lost some white lions and some stuff that doesn't matter. Itza. Itza can win that easy. We'll auto resolve that. Do we want to auto resolve that? Might as well. We've done a lot of battles. Yeah, and if his legion took some casualties, but that's fine. They're ambushing me when I knew that they were there. Because we just fought them. Okay. <laughs> Let's fight it. I'm going to give you a good thrashing unknown Skaven clan. Especially since they just got beat. Like, hardcore. Yeah, Nephi's Legion is still healthy enough. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Ah, majestic. Majestic as all hell, Nephi. Look at that chair. That is the chair of a man who is deeply insecure. Show me what you got. Uh, let's put some counter fire into those damn things. Come on, Nephi, move it up. Let's see what we got here. Storm of Arm, Sword, and Shield. Get blown up. Boom, baby. Right in the middle of those gutter runners. Let's do it. Plague monks, no anti large. Cool. Mm, most of that will hold, I think, on its own. Let's bring it around. Let's focus on those guys. How you doing, Nephi? You doing good? Moving out. Understood. Hmm. Yeah, they're gonna need some help. Get down there. Get down there, Mr. Dragon. Princess of Let's Moving pull out. Nephi back out of there. Now is the time. Hmm, perhaps not yet. Alright. It will be done. We are bugged. You guys go that way. Let's bring Nephi down into the rear. Oh, you idiots. Get back. Oh, such a nightmare when they do that. And then they get themselves entangled in melee. Oi. Artificial intelligence, indeed. Or lack thereof, I suppose. All right, let's scatter these rats. Let's send our moon dragon after that play claw catapult. Let's get Nephi out of there for he dies. Come on, come on, come on. Move your caboose, Nephi. You don't want to die. Come on. All right, now let's drop. Some breath on that bastard. Krelk. Oh, he's right in the middle of everybody. Can't do that. Without nuking my own man. Well, that's plenty. There we go. That crew is dealt with. Let's get over here. Alright. Surround them. Roll up the line. Put an end to this. Understood. Loyal. Let's get your butt over here. Drop on top of those clan rats. Yeah, just shoot him to death. There's no reason for you to go down there, Nephi. Just get him. There we have it.
Ooh, I don't know what happened to you guys, but it was not good. These poor white lions. All right. We done did it. We done diddly doodly diddle it. And that's gonna be the end of them. That should destroy the army. That was a very ill-conceived ambush. Especially after suffering a heavy defeat. Retreat would have been smarter, but... What do you know? Miracles happen. The Skaven were brave. Ish. Enemy killed in battle. Morkar. Puppets of Chaos destroyed. That's cool. Princess of the Asum. Yeah. Let's pop Nephi. Out of travel stance. Finish off Croak. A little bit more replenishment there for Nephi. Let's put Nephi in Itza. Lord of the Phoenix Court. Ooh, Toby's team took some. You took some big hits there. Well, wow. I think Teclas will be up pretty quickly. So let's. What do you want? Cavalry is needed. Yes, that is good. And what else? White lions will be sorely missed. Let's get some sword masters of Hoth instead. Teclas now ready to go. After everything has been like said and done, Teclas like the worst commander ever. Inspires zero loyalty. Lets everyone else die for him. Move Dar back up. And I think that does it for most of those chaos armies. I don't see them around anymore because they do not exist. I have heard their abilities praised. Let's see. Silver Torrent. Uh, that's not really useful for me. Movable Force. That is... That is cool. Let's do that. Ooh, we got another one here. Dark in the skies. Cool. There you go, Nephi. Now you're a ranged killing machine. Um, I think that just about does it for them. So, uh... Yeah. Let's fast forward to the end of the ritual, and then we'll end the episode there. Alright. And here we are. So let's pass this final turn and enjoy... Our penultimate cutscene. Can I offer? Yes, yes. Come along, Lothern. We ain't got no time to waste. Alright, so we should be down, I think. This is going to be our second to last episode. Yeah, next time we'll probably get... Oh. Shannar, the explorer, as he used the stars to navigate the world, their light shone upon the king's lost vessel. There, Gallifreys! I see it! The fourth shard of the star crown was found within. Thanks to the Phoenix Kings, the star crown is near complete. But there is one who is yet to be evoked. The first, the greatest, the doom. <gasps> Are we going to get to have a chat with Anarion? Is it Anarion? Anarion, that's it. Mixing up my mythologies. But in any case, as I was saying, this is going to be our second to last episode. It's been quite the, uh, quite the adventure all across the continent of Lustria. I remember we were just this tiny little wee faction. Over here, with one settlement in the Great Turtle's Isle. And now, we got a pretty big empire. Not quite so large as Tyrion's. But that's okay. I'm not bitter or anything. God, I hate that guy. What a dick. Can't believe he took Tlaxland from me. It's okay, I'll get over it. But in any case, Rachel the Defender. That's going to be coming up pretty soon. And it looks like the last Defenders will be performing their ritual as well. So you're going to get two battles of the Vortex next time around. So I hope you uh, I hope you join me for the next time, and I'll see you later. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.